So when there is a there is a thousand dollar sower, a person that's sowing thousands into the gospel, when they rise up in the earth, there is a press from the enemy to get that person into a place where they where they're not focused on the Lord. Like there's a strategy to attack that person. The mind of the thousand dollar sower is attacked by legions of demons. Because you're helping God, you're supporting God, the Lord is able to fulfill his will through you. And the enemy wants to see if there is something going on inside of you that could injure your honor. Are you hearing me? So when somebody is a thousand dollar sower and they're honoring God and they're trusted by the father in sowing. The enemy wants to take them places that will get them out of that stream. So if you take a note, write this down. When you're a bountiful, cheerful giver. You attract satanic attention on your life. But the sowing that you're doing is already built by God to defeat all powers of darkness. So it's not a scary thing that you're going to be opposed by the satanic kingdom because every gate of hell is subject to the seed. Let me show you something. It was the seed that went down to hell and got the keys. Got the keys of death and of hell. So when death and hell is fighting against you. Things are coming to disconnect you from God, disconnect you from your provision, disconnect you from your miracles. Those things are all defeated by the seed because the seed that defeated the gates of hell was Jesus. And now the seed sower. Even if you get opposed by death and of hell, the gates of hell, they are subject to the seed. So the seed is superior over unclean spirits. David was a sower. So when Goliath showed up, David found what many warriors failed to retrieve. None of them found the strategy to kill Goliath. You notice this, right? All of them lost to Goliath. So what could you catch? You could catch that Goliath was actually from the gates of hell. But now a sower confronts Goliath. And the sower is the only one that takes Goliath down. Wow. Man, man. So when you sow in, God trusts you to defeat demons that been familiar spirits. There have been familiar spirits in the bloodline. There have been all type of yokes and bondages and satanic covenants and altars. But God now is passing the baton to you. To burn it all up. So when you a big sower, understand Satan knows you by name. All demons know you by name. That's why they'll come to uh, opposite uh, gender. They'll come to drugs. They'll come through alcohol. They'll come through pornography. They'll come through wickedness, evil, iniquity. They gonna come against you because they know that you done stepped out to honor God. You're doing something that no generation has done at this pace. They probably started. Them hammer knockers started tithing. But that's, all, that's as far as they got. Their sowing ain't bring them nowhere. You know their sowing ain't bring them nowhere. Because if their sowing had brought them somewhere... 
you wouldn't have been hassling for money when you came into the earth. They would have had something for you. You, you was up there trying to figure out how you going to make it, how you going to make money. Ah, da, 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 da. You, was, you was tussling and hustling. We're not talking about hustle and, 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 and flow. We're talking about muscles to sew. <laughs> not hustle and flow, muscles to sew. The muscles that you develop in sewing, Satan see that you are iron man. Satan see that you are iron woman. Satan know that you're pumping iron. You know why? Because you got a strong sewing anointing. You got a strong fire on your altar that's burning. Did you know that Satan could see the candlestick of the sower burning bright on their altar? Satan know who is in a place where God is going to make them rich because Satan used to be Lucifer in heaven enjoying the riches of God. Demons, they still remember. They ain't lose their memory. They know that God take care of those that love him and God take care of those that sow into him and God take care of those that worship him and God honor those that honor him. The demons know. Don't let the thief steal the plan of God on your life. You got to sow and keep on sowing after you sow. You sow your money, but sow your soul. You sow your money, but sow your soul. You sow your money, but sow your soul. Give that soul over to the Holy Ghost and don't let your soul be wounded. Every day you got to receive the glory light in your soul. Lord, I receive the glory light in my soul concerning these situations. If you don't know how to move with the glory light, you're going to be wounded in this life and you're going to hinder your prosperity because your soul is not in prosperity. Prosperity financially can't come to you. Prosperity and health can't really come to you until you have healed your soul. And so the things that come against your soul, people, places, things, issues, Worry, fear, anxiety, bitterness, anger, resentment, prayerlessness, praiselessness. How many times you thank God earlier? How many times you thank God in December? How much times are you praising God? Is your soul really in prosperity? Because when your soul is in prosperity, you're going to talk with the Lord and going to let him talk with you. The Holy Ghost will talk to you. Man, every day I have millions of conversations with the Holy Ghost. I talk to, with the Holy Ghost about everything. I talk with the Holy Ghost about clothes. I talk with the Holy Ghost about hairstyle. I talk with the Holy Ghost about food. I talk with the Holy Ghost about everything. There ain't nothing I don't talk to the Holy Ghost about. We always in communication. I love talking to him and he love hearing me talk. We here for each other. We both have conversation. We both got something to say. And we're going to have friendship talk all the time. The Holy Ghost don't be yelling at me in anger. The Holy Ghost don't be repeating himself around me. You know why? Because I'm going to listen good. I'm going to listen real good. And I'm going to get it done. The sower is listening to God on what he needs in a moment. That's why they're able to sow that seed. The Holy Ghost will say, give me $800. Give me $300. I want you to give me $100. I want you to give me $1,200. I want you to sow $1,600. I want you to sow $3,000. Give me $500. Give me $5,000. Give me $1,000. They're listening to the Holy Ghost tell them what he wants. That's why he raises up you to live how you want to live. Because you gave him what he wanted. Satan is an eavesdropper on the sower's exercise. Because when you exercise in honor and true worship towards God, Satan is eavesdropping. Look at them sowing, worshiping God. Now, I need to stop this. 
Because they, they purpose in their heart to give. They purpose in, the, in their heart to sow. So I need to affect their heart so that that purpose will be diverted. I need to corrupt it. Something need to come. Offenses need to arise. Misunderstandings need to arise. Lust need to arise. Fear needs to arise. Bitterness, wrong decisions, error, the spirit of Antichrist need to arise. Because if honor remains like this, God going to raise them up through honor. He going to honor them and they're going to destroy my kingdom operation on earth because there's going to be finances and provision given to them to fulfill the vision of God through different happenings, through different cities, through different operations, through different organizations, through different strategies and missions. So when you sow in thousands into God, you attract satanic supervision. They're watching you. They need to stop the harvest from getting to you. They need to stop money coming from getting to you because your seed releases a new chapter of finances that's beyond your physical job. It's beyond Social Security check. It's beyond food stamps. It's beyond Medicare, Medicaid. It's greater. It's the kingdom of heaven and his benefits. 